yeah, do do a nice job on the dissection because you're going to be tested on these. <laughs> on how good it Yeah, I, okay, to the best of my uh, knowledge, opinion, whatever, we've got external oblique, internal oblique, and transverse abdominis. And the grain's going a different direction on each one. Mm -hmm. And so pretty much what you saw in Necturus, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the beauties of, of doing this. That's why we like this. So these are at 90 degree angles to each other? I wouldn't say 90 degrees, but they're, they're close different. To their, yeah, they're different and angle. The transverse abdominus, is it, it runs like... Uh, it's it runs more or less transverse, but it actually goes a little bit downward. Okay. So external oblique is kind of pointing down to the pubis. Um, internal oblique is pointing up a little more towards the sternum, and transverse abdominus is pointing slightly downward. So you get three different layers, three different angles. You just That's said you're using our cadavers on the test. for our test. You're using our cadavers for the test. Okay, cool. So, um, Ooh, study him. I can I can only find Genio Kaiway up in the like. Well, I, uh, you're gonna have to finish skinning the chin and then uh, look right up in here for Genio Glossus and Genio Hyoid. Okay. Well, think think about them in the next tourist from the Genio Hyoid with that like tiny little triangular one underneath the. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, well, that was it, was Hecturus, because yeah. we didn't see him in the frog. Yeah. And then in the uh, fish, in the shark, it was coracle, uh, the coracle muscles up in here. And the, the diagastric muscle. Yeah, that's going to be up in here as well. It doesn't, and it runs back to here? Or... Because it said there's an anterior and a posterior portion. Yeah, uh, the digastric eventually goes to the um, mastoid process of the temporal, so back behind the ear. But the anterior belly is right underneath the chin, and it's uh, going back to the hyoid bone. Yeah. Like golf ball. Yeah, that, could be, that could be. Oh no, that isn't. That's a uh, salivary gland. Oh, okay. That's a submandibular gland. Now that I've got it exposed a little more, look at how big and round it is there. Wow. And uh, so bunnies, you know, they need a lot of saliva to moisten up that grass and carrots and stuff they're eating. Carotid artery is the artery that supplies blood to the brain. Yeah. But, Internal carotid. But what about with a P? Carotid gland. Oh, parotid. That's the uh, large salivary gland right here, right oh, in front okay, of the ear. Right. It looks like some of it might have gotten a little bit removed there. Hmm. I know you get Mallory's scalpel and she's just like, <laughs> slash, slash. <laughs> it did slash up the throat of that. 